Okay, we are looking at Hannum's check patterns, and we are going to play in this video line 11 through 15. So look at the sheet, follow along. If you don't have your own, follow along with this, 11 through 15. Uh, this is probably the most difficult part of the sheet from a timing standpoint because we are starting each measure, with the exception of 11, with a rest. Okay? So make sure that your timing is impeccable. And the way we do that is to follow a metronome. Don't trust your internal metronome. Use an external metronome. Okay, so without further ado, we will play line 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, here we go. Play along. We're starting at 80. Here we go. This is 11. One, two, here we go now. And 15. Okay, so now we're going to increase the speed to 100 and play this. All right. Here we go. Don't you just love neighborhood dogs that bark all the time? Here we go. Starting with number 11. One, two, three, and. Okay, so a couple of things. Play all at one height, no accents. If you're playing match grip, make sure that all of your fingers stay touching, remain on the stick the whole time. Not like this, not like this, not like this. All fingers touch. But we're not going to have a death grip. It makes it sound like that. Let it have some resonance. All right, relax. But not to the point where your fingers are coming off the stick. And the angle of the stick should be like this, not like this. Okay? The natural way. Bring it up from the bottom. This is the natural way. Not like this. All right? And use these stickings. Don't invent your own stickings. All right? So, till next time, uh, that was the entire sheet, actually. We've had a video lesson for one, two, and this is the third and final installment. I guess I could do another one and do all, uh, all 15 at one time. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, but for now, look at video one, two, and, of course, this one that you're watching, and learn the stickings, play all at one level, and you will see these patterns in just about every piece of music you ever have. Maybe not these specifics. They may not be in a line, they may be combining with other rhythms, but these are very, very, very super duper important. So learn these and be able to see these and be able to play them even without the stickings. Once you see music, let's say in a concert setting, normally you're not going to have stickings underneath notes in a concert setting, uh, but you'll already know, your hands will already have the muscle memory to play these using these sticking. So that'll help with your sight reading abilities. Okay, till next time.
keep practicing check patterns and other important things. Out.